Court of Appeal in Abuja struck out terrorism charge filed against Inam Dikanu, leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, delivering judgment on Thursday. A three-member panel of the Court of Appeal held that Kanu's extradition from Kenya to Nigeria to stand trial was illegal. The court further held that the federal government failed to disclose where Inam Dikanu was arrested, despite the grave allegations against him. Kanu was rearranged on an amended 15 count charge bordering on treasonable felony preferred against him by the federal government. I will first meet my client, break the good news to him, then we discuss the way forward. Because the United Nations had already said Inam Dikanu should be paid compensation for the violation of his human rights, which this court of appeal again found today that his rights were brutally violated. The court of appeal was emphatical about that, that his rights were violated. And the canoe was forcibly abducted, kidnapped, blindfolded, tortured, and then rendered back to Nigeria extrajudicially, extra-legally, against the laws of Kenya, against the laws of Nigeria, against all international instruments dealing with extradition, including section, various sections of the Extradition Act of Nigeria, including section 15. They violated them. They brought Nandi Kanu to face a four count charge that was still pending contrary and against what we call the doctrine of specialty, which is that when you bring back a fugitive through extradition process, you can only try him for that offense for which you are extraditing that fugitive. Not earlier counts. And you cannot continue with an earlier case against that, that fugitive. 